I actually, I did reach out to Nuvo H2O and I emailed them and asked them, is this normal? You know, what should we do about it? Hey guys, welcome back to Professional Weekenders YouTube channel. Today we're in Tampa at home and today we're going to be replacing the filters and the water softener element on our Nuvo H2O whole home softener filtration system. So if you want to find out how to replace these and also get a one year update, then you're in the right place. So stick around. Let's go. All right. So we're going to get started here. Um, it's going to get wet. All right. So first thing that we want to do is we're going to turn on the bypass. So we're going to flip all of our little valves here so the water bypasses the system. And the next thing that we have to do is we have to, have to release, release the pressure that's built up in these can canisters. So there's quite a bit of pressure. They do have these little release valves up here at the top. You can see those there and here. As soon as I press these, the, the water's gonna shoot out everywhere. So step back. All right, and we'll go ahead and link the video down below where we actually installed this. So you can watch that if you wanna find out how to install one of these yourself. All right, so here we go. We're gonna release the pressure. It's gonna get wet. Well, I held my hand over it. I, you know, it otherwise, I, you can make it shoot out. Okay. Well, they're connected, so you only have to do one. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was okay. Next up, come with this handy little wrench. So we're going to slip that on there. And take these things off. There we go. And I still want to give a little bit of fight. So at least just a little bit more pressure and there we go. <laughs> All right, so got the one released here. I'm gonna open up the box. I'll just get this from the Nuvo H2O website. Uh, they do have a subscription system that can save you a little bit of money. But we're not sponsored by them. Yeah, so if you you can set up how often you want the filters delivered every six months is on average. Yeah, so every, you can get the, you can set up a subscription system there where they'll deliver these to your house every every so many months, depending on your how much water you use. Six months is the average. That's how often I have it set up for here, but honestly, I think that we could probably go a little bit longer. So, and so this has been one year, so this is the second time I've replaced these. The first time I did so, I, I did cut open one of these and there was still a lot of citric acid left in there. So I think, I think honestly for our, usage for just two people um, every six months is probably too too often all right so the way that this is installed the filter does come first the softener comes second so you do filter the water before you soften it uh, otherwise you'd be removing all out all of your citric acid um, you can tell that this is the citric acid uh, filter or cartridge because it's a complete solid plastic the other one when we get it out we'll show you it has more of a mesh texture to it kind of to spill water everywhere So then you just slide the new one down in there like that. And I'm kind of tight on space. So I have to put the blue ring on there first. All right, and the slider up in there. Tighten it down with the wrench. All right, so that's one down. Move on to the next one, the filter. So now we're gonna do the same exact thing that we just did on this side now with the filter system. All right, make sure we don't lose the O-ring. Make sure you install the O-ring on the top lip in order to get a snug fit. All right, so now we're gonna dump this the water out of this one. You see how this one's got like more of a mesh. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we'll open up the box here and get out the new carbon filter. All right, so there's our new carbon filter um, yeah but the carbon filter you can install either way I forgot to mention on the other one the, the holes do have to go up at the top put that in there and we'll just slide it back on all right and so now with the uh, new system installed all we're gonna do is uh, re-engage the bypass 
You hear it pressurizing. Oh, didn't get that one tight enough. So that's all that activated carbon is the charcoal. Yeah, so I turned it on and apparently I didn't have this side tight enough and it uh, shot activated carbon all over the place. All right, so now we got the, uh, the new system all installed. We're gonna just uh, disengage the bypass. Nice. No leaks. <laughs> Success. All right. And um, we can let go, we let some of the, the air out of the system here. Otherwise it'll just pump through the system and out your faucets. All right. Easy as that. All right guys, so I'm gonna give you my thoughts on the Nuvo H2O whole home water softener filter system after one year of ownership. So after one year, uh, I wanna break it down into pros and cons. So the pros are, uh, number one, it does work, sort of. Uh, I think if you have like a mild to medium case of hard water, this will probably work for you. Um, down here in Florida, we have really hard water, so it's not quite doing the job. I do notice my skin is a little bit softer when we shower with the system engaged. And also, you know, we get a little bit less hard water stains, you know, in the dishwasher, on the faucets, the toilet, that sort of thing. It's not gonna clean everything up quite like they said on Ask This Old House, where they said basically in six months, you would expect all your hard water, all your hard water stains to be gone. Uh, that's definitely not the case. There's, there's quite a few of them um, that, you know, are still there even after a year you know we left a couple of them just to see if if they would ever clear up uh, pro number two is it is very compact and so it doesn't take up much much space especially in comparison to a conventional uh, water softener system and filtering system uh, you see this one just fit in the cabinet right on the side of the house so i do really like that pro number three is um, it's super easy to maintain it. Uh, you know, it doesn't take a whole lot of your time. You basically just change those cartridges out every six to eight months, depending on your usage. All right, and so now we're gonna get into the cons of the system. I'd say the first con is obviously the price. This thing is very expensive. I managed to get it on sale for about $1,200. And I think it normally runs about $1,500. And I did just look recently, and I know that they've raised their prices with inflation. Now it's up to $1,650, so it's very expensive. Similarly, the price of the cartridges have gone up too, the replacement cartridge and filter system. Uh, that used to be about 150, and you would get like a 10% discount if you got it uh, auto-shipped, but now they've raised the prices of that to $165. So you're looking to pay that every, every six months, so $300, a little over $300 a year. I mean, so that comes to almost $28 a month uh, just to, just in filter costs. Now, if you were to use um, a traditional salt system, you can replace the salt in that for five to ten dollars a month. So this is quite a bit more expensive than the salt systems. And that kind of goes hand in hand with con number two, and that is that once you buy the system, you're locked in. There's no changing from this to salt without completely redoing everything. Uh, there's no other place you can go to buy third-party generic filters or cartridges you have to get them from Nuvo H2O. So like in this case, when I signed up for this system and I bought it and I was gonna originally pay, you know, the $150 every six months for the new cartridges, I get an email like two days before my cartridges ship. Oh, by the way, due to inflation, we're raising prices on you and there's nothing I can do about it. Now I had to pay the, the inflated prices and you know, who knows where this could end. We could keep going. If you're watching this video a year, two years from now, the prices that I'm, I'm quoting now could be, you know, out the window. We could be talking about even more. So I really don't like being beholden to one company and, and kind of being stuck and not having other options. Con number three, this is the biggest one. In all honesty, since using this system, we've had some issues with the water quality. Um, the filter, I think it works too good in that it does remove all of the um, chlorine from your, from your water but that chlorine was put there by the, by the city, you know, when they purified the water for a reason, and that's to keep impurities out of the water, to keep, um, you know, harmful bacteria or algae, uh, you know, things out of the water, stop things from growing in the water. But with that filter system on there, we've had some issues with uh, our water is not pure water anymore. Um, when I first started noticing it in the tanks of the toilets, uh, that the stopper would would get stopped up once the toilet flushed 
the stopper didn't want to release to let the, the, the water drain into the tank. So we started putting like some uh, toilet bowl cleaners in there and that seemed to help a little bit. Never really noticed an issue on our faucets, um, but after having just changed the cartridge out this past time, that cartridge was, I mean, it was slimy, it was gross. And to think that, you know, that's going, you know, whatever that slime was that was going into the drinking water and we've been drinking that, it really grosses me out. I actually, I did reach out to Nuvo H2O and I emailed them and asked them, is this normal? You know, what should we do about it? And they did say that uh, in certain uh, high temperature environments in the summer, you could expect, um, but they basically said algae blooms in your water supply and that, no, we're not doing that. So they recommended, you know, removing the filter. Actually, I recommended it to them and they said, yeah, that's a great idea. Like, I can't be the first person that's had this problem. Right now, I've just got the whole system bypassed and, you know, we're just using the, the normal city water with the chlorine in it just to flush everything out. You know, eventually maybe we'll go back to just the cartridge side without the filter, but we'll see. Um, so with all that being said, you know, I would not recommend buying this thing. Um, I mean, like I said, unless you want to just try just the, the softener aspect and you have just mild uh, hard water issues, you can go that route. But you're probably better off with a traditional salt system. Um, and you're probably better off without having any kind of filter on your, on your system. If you do want to filter, you know, probably your better bet, your better bet would be one of those osmosis filters that's, that goes under your sink and then you have just specific water that you only use for drinking um, or, you know, or, or a carbon filter in your fridge is a good idea too. But filtering the entire home, uh, I don't think is a good idea. There's too much water, there's too many pipes, and there's too many places for uh, things to get in there and breed, especially in, in warm locations. Now, if, you, if you're up in Canada, maybe you won't have these kind of problems, but down here in Florida, uh, that's definitely a concern. As gross as that is, we're gonna wrap up this video here. Uh, remember, like, share, comment, subscribe. Let me know in the comments below. Do you have a filter system like this? Uh, have you ever used anything like this? Do you like your salt water system? If you got a good salt system, let me know in the comments below. I might be in the market for something new. And with that being said, we're out of here and we'll see you next weekend. You ready? Alright, so take two. <laughs> Alright. So what happened? Filter, whole home softener filter. Alright.